Welcome to Cindy's Creative Inspirations. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make beautiful holiday cards using Spellbinders Nested Abilities Card Creator dies and my Christmas One Red Rubber Stamp. I'll also be using the Wow Embossing Glitters and Embossing Powders, the Tim Holtz Distress Embossing Ink, Distress Stickles in Clear Rock Candy, the regular New Dry Fine Glitter Christmas Red. I'll be featuring the Echo Park Very Merry Christmas new 6x6 paper pad and I'm going to be using the Wonder Tape 1 8 of an inch. What I have done is stamped my Christmas Card Creator Set 1 in my Distress Embossing Ink and then I have actually heat embossed one of all four of the colors that I've chosen from the WOW embossing powders and I did it on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Next I want to cut out the perfect layers using Matting Basics A Card Creator and I am going to do so using my Grand Caliber which is my favorite die cut machine for the large format how many different things I can do at one time. So if I had more than one set of the Matting Basics A, I could actually fit two of them on my cutting pad. And what I'm using is Scotch Removable Tape, and I actually secure my dies right down to my cutting pad with this. And it's reusable and removable, it doesn't hurt your paper. So as you can see, I've stamped and embossed, and now I have it laid out. So I'm going to run it through the Grand Caliber and I'll be back in a moment to show you what it looks like once we've cut this out. So here we have all four of our beautiful colors that we have embossed using the WOW glitter and embossing powders. Cut out with our Matting Basics A and I have used the dies number 3, 5, and 7. So the next step in creating my card is taking the 1 8 Wonder Tape and I'm going to place this on a couple different lines on my patterned paper. And the reason I'm doing this ahead of time is because this way when I cut out my die, my edges are perfectly cut. I don't have to go back in and do this later. So you can do as many lines as you wish and then take your die and you're able to place it on your paper. Now, I will back this up a little bit so you can see. What I have done is I actually turn it, um, cutting the cutting part face down onto my paper so I can see what I'm cutting. And then I'm using the tape to position it. And I'm going to run it through the Grand Caliber. Here is our die cut out of our cardstock from the largest matting basics a and you can see that here are many many strips of the wonder tape and so the next step in creating our card is going to be to remove some of these strips and to use our stickles dry fine glitter and i have both the christmas red and the clear rock candy so we're going to do the christmas red first and it's just as simple as sprinkling this on and you see that it sticks right to that wonder tape and you can add a little more and then I use a Swiffer cloth or Swiffer duster to get any extra that I don't want off my paper when I'm finished so you do the same thing with the clear rock candy and when you're finished you have this here and you can see when I turn it that I have used both the dry glitter rock candy and the red so this is going to be our card base and we have used an A2 card and then like I said the largest card creator A and now we're going to start building our card this is the largest die from the fancy postage set of card creator dies and I've just cut it in white here and I'm going to attach that next And then I'm going to use the green to build and create different colors. And then my center, I'm going to actually pop dot on. And 
And then for my center, this is the smallest die in the Matting Basics A. And I am using one of the mini blueprints from the Tim Holtz stamp set, and I'm using the tree. And I'm going to be actually embossing and using glitter at the same time. So our first step in this is going to be to ink up our stamp with the Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And we're going to stamp it, and I'm gonna stamp it closer to the top here. And now I'm going to use the same green, which is Tea Garden Green. Wow embossing powder. And heat this up. And then I am going to use, again, the dry glitter distress. And what you wanna do to get this glitter to stick is heat this up just momentarily. And then add the glitter while it's still warm. And then to heat it up again, and that will seal your glitter into your embossing powder. And you might not be able to see it on the video, but it just gives a really neat look because you've got the glitter in the embossing powder, and that way it doesn't wipe off. So we're going to adhere that. And then as the last thing, we can add this little accent here. That will finish our card. And let me show you a few more made with the same technique. And I've just used a little bit different colors. So this is another one. And then you can see how by doing the embossing and the cutting with the matting basics, how many different beautiful cards you can create and how the wow embossing powder and the glitters just make a beautiful, beautiful card.